Hi, good, hi, good morning, and welcome yeah. to today's products in focus. <laughs> US thirty there um, managed to have itself an incredibly good end to the day, up almost yeah. over a percent at the end of the session uh, to stop short of seventeen eight ninety five, which is the next potential resistance. This would be a technical breakout of this downtrend line that we drew on the other day. I might as well have not bothered in that case, but um, nevertheless, you are looking at a longer term potential uh, all time high, just over eighteen thousand as the next level. Though today is non farm payrolls. And many commentators suspecting that it will be a weaker than expected number. So they're hoping to have uh, 234,000, but the last amounts of economic data from the US has uh, been a bit middling at best. Um, anything below 200,000, say 185,000, would be seen as a little bit of a disappointment, and traders would have a look at uh, dollar yen and euro dollar. Comes in much stronger than expected, though, there's probably still be some of the FX pairs to have a look at. Though cable is the FX pair that's having the most uh, movement overnight, uh, now up at one spot 53, so it's having a good session. Possibly in anticipation of a weaker number. So looking at the UK 100, um, it's getting ever closer to that all time high again. 69.06.8, it's not done it yet. Maybe today. Um, Japan 225 is again playing around with 17.496 as dollar yen. The yen is strengthening a little bit as we head into non farms as people begin to hedge against uncertainty buying the safe haven yen. Um, and here we are again 117 spot 36. Not much else to say about um, dollar yen. Apart from the fundamentals are interesting if non farms has a point because safe haven yen. And dollar weakness, because then it looks like they will not raise, they, they have less evidence to, or less reason to raise rates in the, in the short term, should that uh, figure come in at sub 185. And uh, we have been hugging around about this potential support level for a number of sessions, so if it is a weak number, you could get a technical break towards 114 spot 74. So crude oil West Texas, very volatile, very tough to trade, I think, right now. It was up one minute, down the next, up one minute, down the next. Um, 54.85 is the next potential resistance. Uh, a weaker than expected number, uh, well, there's a lot of factors in play because you have a weaker US dollar in that case, which would be positive for West Texas crude, but then it kind of says that the US economy is not as strong as what was expected. Um, so that kind of puts a little bit of extra pressure on there. The non farm payrolls figure comes in much better than expected. The dollar that's good for the economy, good for the world economy, um, good for the US dollar. It kind of counteracts itself. Probably the best thing here if you're a, a, a crude uh, bull is for a stronger. Uh, non farm payrolls figure. But I'll have to wait till 1.30 UK time to find out if that's the case. Gold uh, is always sensitive to uh, interest rate decisions over, over in the US, and uh, this will be um, affected if you get a very strong non farm payrolls number coming in. Uh, gold will go down. And if it's weaker than expected, you have the safety of an aspect in that dollar weakness, and we might get a tick above 12.73. So finishing up with euro dollar and cable, euro dollar uh, again very volatile as well. Uh, cap uh, 21 period SMA potentially. Uh, one spot 1642 is the next potential resistance, and the people will be having a look at this. Should non farm payrolls disappoint, um, we could get a, a little bit of a spike higher. But the euro is not exactly that strong either. Uh, and then you've got cable, uh, which is probably the better trade if you're looking. It's either it's either cable or. Um, or dollar yen you want to have a look at during the non-farm payrolls session. Uh, we've already had a, a fantastic uh, session yesterday. We're getting quite close to next potential resistance. One spot 54, 24. Uh, though perhaps a lot of uh, a lot of that move is priced in. Should non-farms disappoint in cable because it has rallied quite strongly, in the absence of any uh, specific UK data. Uh, that came out yesterday of any particular interest. Obviously, we are getting quite close to general election in the UK. Usually, cable doesn't enjoy uh, those sessions, and it's actually very unclear just now who's actually going to go ahead and win the election. There's no um, kind of forerunner just now. They're talking a lot about coalitions and everything else. Uh, not good for the, uh, shouldn't be that good for the sterling, but nevertheless, it is rallying against the US dollar in anticipation of today. Uh, today's non farm payrolls event. Um, as ever, guys, uh, you've got the chart forum to keep your eye on. If you go to support and then go to live trader events, you can sign up to our live webinar covering the non farm payroll session in real time with our FX analyst Michael Hewson. And keep your eye on insights for uh, the inside track as to what's moving in the markets before and after the result. And join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.